Hello my sax playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson I'm going to compare the alto saxophone to the tenor saxophone and tell you the five main differences. So if you're confused about what the differences are between the two, or maybe you're thinking about buying an alto or a tenor because you're just starting on a saxophone, this lesson is for you my friend. I'm going to take you through everything you need to know and even give you recommendations of what saxophones to buy. In fact, you can download my ultimate saxophone buyer's guide absolutely free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide where I give you recommendations for all different types of alto saxophones, tenor saxophones, even soprano saxophones and baritone saxophones along with mouthpieces, reeds, ligatures, cleaning equipment and much more. It's completely free so go ahead and download that now. There's a link in the description of this video. So the biggest difference between the alto and tenor saxophone is that the alto is smaller and lighter than the tenor saxophone. So if I grab the alto and compare it to the tenor you can see that the tenor is a lot larger than the alto saxophone. Okay, so we have a bigger bell, we have a bigger body, the entire instrument is a lot larger and it's a lot heavier. The tenor saxophone is a lot heavier than the alto saxophone. So if you are just starting on a saxophone, I actually recommend the alto saxophone instead of the tenor saxophone when you're starting out, especially if you're a lot younger. I started out when I was 12 and it was a lot easier for me to play because I started on the alto saxophone. I have my Yanagasawa saxophones here. These are both Yanagasawa and these are quite heavy. However, all tenor saxophones and all alto saxophones are not created equally. There's different weights depending on the brand of saxophone that you get. So for example, these Yanagasawa saxophones can be a lot heavier than maybe an old Selmer saxophone from the 30s or 40s. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for maybe a lighter saxophone versus a heavier saxophone. Some brands are gonna be lighter and some brands are gonna be heavier. Now the second biggest difference between alto and tenor sax is something that's gonna make it a lot easier to distinguish between alto and tenor. And that is the neck of the saxophone. So if I take the neck off my alto sax here, you'll see that the neck is actually straight like this. But if I take the tenor saxophone neck, you're gonna see that it's slightly curved at the top of the neck. So we have a curved neck here. So if you ever wanna figure out whether a saxophone is a tenor sax or an alto sax, simply look at the neck of the saxophone because the alto is gonna be straight and the tenor is going to be curved like this. So that's the easiest way to figure out whether a saxophone is an alto sax or a tenor saxophone. The third biggest difference between a tenor sax and an alto sax is the mouthpiece and reed. So if I compare the two right here, you can actually see that they're different sizes. The tenor saxophone mouthpiece and reed is actually bigger than the alto saxophone mouthpiece and reed. And the same thing goes for the ligature as well, which is this part that holds the mouthpiece and reed together. So that's the third biggest difference between alto and tenor sax. The tenor sax mouthpiece is bigger, the alto sax mouthpiece is smaller, the tenor sax reed is bigger, and the alto sax reed is smaller. So you're not actually gonna be able to interchange the reeds between alto and tenor. You have to buy reeds specific for tenor saxophone, and you have to buy reeds specific for alto saxophone. And again, if you wanna get recommendations for all the different reeds you can get, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate, whether you're a professional, as well as mouthpieces and ligatures, download the Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide, and I give you all the recommendations for all the different saxophones. The fourth biggest difference between the alto and the tenor saxophone is the sound. So I'm gonna play you the alto sax first and I'm gonna compare it to the tenor saxophone and you're gonna be able to hear that the alto sax plays more of a high pitch and the tenor sax plays more of a low pitch. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna put the tenor sax neck and mouthpiece back on here and I'm gonna grab my alto sax and I'm gonna play you a song on the alto and I'm gonna play the exact same song with the exact same notes on the tenor. So you're gonna hear it in the same key, but it's gonna sound slightly different because the alto is a higher pitch 
and the tenor is a lower pitch. So I'm gonna play the song Happy Birthday, seeing as it is my birthday tomorrow. And if you wanna get the happy birthday fingerings, you can actually go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash happy birthday and I show you every single fingering to play this song. Not only that, I actually have a tutorial that takes you through the song of Happy Birthday step by step. So if you wanna check out the Happy Birthday tutorial, I'm gonna to link to it at the end of this video, but you can also find a link in the description of this lesson. So I'm gonna start by playing Happy Birthday on the alto sax, and then I'm gonna to switch to the tenor saxophone. <laughs> So that was Happy Birthday on the alto sax, and now I'm going to play it on the tenor sax. And that was Happy Birthday on the tenor saxophone in the same key. Now I'm gonna play it for you side by side, playing one phrase on the alto and one phrase on the tenor, so you can really hear the differences between alto and tenor saxophone. <laughs> So I really hope you can hear the differences between alto and tenor sax. And this brings me to the fifth biggest difference between the alto sax and the tenor sax. I was actually playing the alto sax with different fingerings compared to the tenor sax to play Happy Birthday. And the reason for this is that the alto and the tenor sax are both transposing instruments. This means when you play a G on the alto sax, it doesn't actually sound the same as a G on the tenor sax. A G on the alto sax sounds the same as a C on the tenor sax. And actually a G on the alto sax and a C on the tenor sax sound the note B flat with concert instruments. Examples of concert instruments are piano, guitar and bass. Now I know this is super confusing, which is why I created a saxophone transposition cheat sheet, which you can get for free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash transposition and there's a link in the description of this video as well. In that transposition cheat sheet, I show you what the note is with the concert pitch, which is piano or guitar, and then I show you what the note is on alto sax, and I show you what the note is on tenor sax. So it's really easy to figure out what key you're in and what note you should play when you're playing alto or tenor. The transposition cheat sheet also works for soprano saxophone and baritone saxophone. So if you play either of those two instruments, you're also gonna get a lot out of this transposition cheat sheet. And that's the fifth and final big difference between alto sax and tenor saxophone. So to recap, we have number one, there is a significant size difference between alto and tenor. The tenor is bigger and the alto is smaller and therefore the tenor is heavier and the alto is lighter. The second big difference is the neck. The tenor neck is curved and the alto neck is straight. And that's a really easy way to distinguish between alto and tenor sax. The third big difference is that the mouthpiece, reed, and ligature are actually bigger on the tenor saxophone compared to the alto where they're slightly smaller. So you need to make sure that you're getting a correct alto mouthpiece for the alto sax as well as the correct reed and ligature for the alto sax compared to the tenor sax where you're gonna get a bigger mouthpiece and you're also gonna get a bigger reed and a bigger ligature. And bonus tip, you're also gonna pay more for the tenor saxophone compared to the alto saxophone because there's more real estate. It's a bigger instrument, it costs more to make compared to an alto saxophone. So be prepared to pay more for a tenor sax compared to an alto sax. The fourth big difference is that the tenor sax has a lower, darker sound compared to the alto sax, which has a higher, brighter sound. And I showed you the comparison on that 
with the happy birthday song. So keep that in mind when you're listening to different saxophone recordings. Does it have a lower tone like the tenor sax or does it have a higher tone like the alto saxophone? And the fifth and final big difference between the tenor sax and the alto sax is that the tenor sax is a B flat transposing instrument and the alto sax is an E flat transposing instrument. So you need to make sure that when you see a piece of music or when you're learning a piece of music in a certain key that you're transposing for alto or transposing for tenor, depending on which saxophone you play. So that's the five big differences between the tenor saxophone and the alto saxophone. And remember, you can get my ultimate saxophone buyer's guide at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide if you wanna know exactly what tenor saxophone products you should buy or what alto saxophone products you should buy, including saxophones, reeds, mouthpieces, neck straps, cleaning products, even saxophone stands. It's all inside the Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide, which you can get absolutely free, and there's a link in the description of this video as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please like, please subscribe, because I put out weekly lessons on this YouTube channel, which includes even more lessons on how to improve your technique, how to improve your tone, how to learn different scales on the saxophone, how to learn different songs on the saxophone. It's all on this channel for you to learn step by step. So make sure to subscribe if you want to know when I upload a video on YouTube. All right, my sax playing friend, have a great week, and until next time, happy playing.